play it tonight. I okay. mean, that that was such a crazy situation. Like that was for sh that was probably my favorite song on the album. I know it was John's too. For swim team. For swim team. Okay. Yeah, it was like one of my favorite songs on the album. It was like a sister song to Oxygen. We wrote it with the same guys, and uh, the. Um, Ryan, one of the, the two guys in Blueprint, was sitting in a car with Adam Levine and the producer of their album, and they had heard it. It was kind of just in the works. You know, yeah. we hadn't really finished it completely. And they were like, yo, this song is amazing. It would go perfect for album. Like, we want this song. And that was, A, an honor for us. That's a gigantic band. Adam Levine's a super talented guy. They hit us up, and they were like, hey, can we... You know, we have the song. We're like, why the fuck not? You know, a lot of people hear the song just off. I mean, the, the amount of streams that they get. So we're thinking like, wow, a lot of people are going to hear this song and hopefully they'll know that we wrote it. And that's a great opportunity to get fans to come and listen to us, right? And so we're like, we'll just let them have it. And that's great. We'll write another one. We could write a whole album with Ryan and Nick at Blueprint. Like, easily. We could yeah. do... 12 visions in oxygen so like true. we click those guys so good if, if if we might actually do a full length album with those guys because we click so well so we weren't worried about it and it was such a cool opportunity for us we're like why not uh so we let maroon 5 have it they came out with the album and we just kept playing it and then people kept hearing our version of it and we were, it was just one of our favorite songs and john was like why are we giving this song up why are we giving this song up and then all of a sudden it was like we get, you know, little whispers from the label. We get little whispers from other places like, hey, we want to release Visions. And we're like, cool. Reggae dudes used to do that all the time. You know, country guys do that shit all the time. Chris Stapleton put out an album of fucking all the songs he wrote for all the other people. We checked Maroon 5 and they're like, of course, you know, it's all love. We just want people to hear the songs. So now we get to put out our version of Visions as a full-blown single. Huh. And now we're playing it live, so it was like the best of both worlds, because now we get like this amazing song back. So we're just fucking putting it out, and everybody was cool with it, and it was just really interesting how that came about, and I'm just glad that uh, that we get to play it, because it's like one of my favorite <laughs> fucking songs. I was a little bummed, like, all right, we're giving the song away, it's good, as songwriters, this is cool, we should definitely do this. I'm really honored, and I would love to write songs for other people, so why not? But at the same time, you're like, fuck. I love this song. So now, that's what I'm I keep seeing visions of you, visions of visions of you.